Good day. Here's integral number six in Jim Coronius's 100 integrals list. And you'll notice immediately it's trigonometric. We have a square of the cosine. Anytime you get a square of a trig function, be very suspicious that you either are dealing with a double angle or a trigonometric identity. In this case, we would remember that the cosine of 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x. And because sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x from a separate identity, which we can substitute, we would end up with 2 cos squared x minus 1. I'm just assuming you're familiar with that sort of algebra. Therefore, if that is true, then if we, instead of splitting the angle 2x, we split the angle x, we would get 2 cos squared x on 2 minus 1. In other words, halving the angle and halving the angle. That's what we want to integrate. And if we rearrange this, we get cos x minus 1, plus 1 rather, is 2 cos squared x on 2. So therefore, cos squared x on 2 is a half of this. I'll just put a half out the front, cos x plus 1. And notice, by using this identity, And this identity, combined, we've been able to show that the square of this cosine term can be reduced to a simple cosine expression rather than a square. And that's much more easy to integrate. So, instead of this, this is all... This is experience, by the way. You won't have to encounter too many of these before you'll know this quite well. So I'm not just pulling rabbits out of hats and doing something strange. So we replace this with a half cos x plus 1 dx. I'm going to move down the page here because this is encroaching a bit. And that will give us a half of the integral of cosine sine x. The integral of 1 is x plus a constant and we've succeeded in integrating. This one, the integral itself was quite simple, but it was the insight required to see that we could use our identities to change this square to this expression. And uh, I encourage you to become very, very familiar with these uh, identities and use them well. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.